All right, so I'm here in my Minecraft world, and I want to show all of you some of the settings that are available to customize your game. To get to the settings menu, the easiest thing for me to do is just to hit the escape key on my keyboard and scroll down one to the settings button right here. Um, we won't cover it necessarily in this video, but there's also, you can see a how to play button that has quite a bit of information, if I just click on that for a moment, about controls and tools and inventory and crafting. So if you're ever looking for a quick guide on just Minecraft the game in general, note that that's always available to you in the game client. By clicking on settings, this gives me a whole bunch of options, and I'll cover some of the more common ones that we have. Down here on the left, you can see that there's an audio setting. Minecraft does play kind of a background music, um, that can be great if you're playing as an individual, but a lot of you will probably have classrooms of 20 or 30 users at a time. You're probably going to want to crank that volume down to zero so you don't hear the sound coming from everybody's computer. Sound effects and sound volume are totally fine to leave on, and we support text-to-speech for chat for students for which that might be helpful. If I go into video settings, there's a whole bunch of options in here, but the main ones to note uh, if I scroll down, is if you're ever using a computer where you feel like the game is lagging a bit on you, this render distance one right here actually is kind of like a draw distance in the game, so kind of like how far out you can see into the distance. You can turn that up all the way, down all the way. I tend to keep mine on eight chunks, um, which is kind of a good middle ground for my computer, but definitely experiment with that if you ever do run into a computer that seems to not be quite as responsive as the other computers in a classroom. The general game settings are split into things like game mode and difficulty. So let me go into those. Game mode is actually two main game modes. So we have creative. Creative mode is infinite inventory. You can fly. You don't take damage. You don't get hungry. Survival mode is very traditional Minecraft. You actually need to go get the natural items that you need in the world in order to craft objects. Um, you will get injured if you jump off a cliff or drown in a river. Um, you will get hungry and you need to find food to eat. If you do choose survival mode for you and or your students, you can also scroll down here to difficulty. Peaceful difficulty and survival mode together is how I personally like to play quite often for teaching and learning. Survival mode gives me an opportunity to limit the items that my students have in their inventory. Peaceful mode will actually prevent any monsters from coming out in game, and in addition, will also regenerate health and hunger. So I don't have to worry about food, I don't have to worry about taking too much damage. I mean, if I jump off of a high enough cliff, I'm going to do some damage to my player, but it's a nice middle ground to give the effects of the kind of limited items and limited inventory that Minecraft is known for, um, while still not having to worry about things like going to create a potato farm in order to get food um, to make sure that your health bar stays full. Scrolling down a little further on the screen, you can see that there's a menu item that says cheats. Activating cheats in Minecraft is what controls commands being turned on. You're almost always going to want that on to be able to use the commands that are available to you in game. Show coordinates, that decides whether the coordinates will display on the top left of the screen. Always day, which I have on here as well, prevents the Minecraft day-night cycle. So a typical cycle in Minecraft is roughly 12 minutes of daytime and 8 minutes of nighttime for a 20-minute cycle. You can basically set it to manual always day, which prevents that from taking place. We also have a fourth setting here, specific to Education Edition, called Show Classroom Settings. 